Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you classifications of codes. Now, see, before I explain you different types of codes as a classifications, first of all, we should know what is codes. So, see, code that is codes that is a group of symbols which is used to represent data. So, when we talk about codes, that is a group of symbols which is used to represent data. So let me write that definition here first. So here I'll explain you different types of codes here. So in different types of codes, first category is weightage code. Now when we talk about weightage code, then we should know each position is having fixed value in weightage code. So in weightage code, each position that has fixed value of data. So each position has fixed value of data in weightage code. So let me give you some examples so it will be more clear. So for example, if I say binary code, so binary code is having fixed value with respect to position or one can say 8421 code or one can say 2421 code. Now let us try to understand this with further examples. So see if I say we have four digit code A0, A1, A2 and A3. And if I say I have 8421 code, so in 8421 code, we have fixed assign value for each position. So A0 position is having value 1, A1 position is having value 2, A2 position is having value 4 and A3 position is having value 8. As if we see second example, let us say 4 bit code is there. So B0, B1, B2 and B3 that is 4 bit code and if it is 2, 4, 2, 1 code. So in that we can say this position is having value 1 which is B0. Second position that is B1 that is having value 2. B2 is having value 4 and B3 is having value 2. See this is how we can assign values which is fixed values with respect to position in weightage code. Now second category that is non-weightage code. Now when we talk about non-weightage code, so in that we don't have fixed value with respect to position. So here we don't have fixed value with position. So when we say non-weightage code, so that does not have any fixed value with respect to position. If I say few examples, then those examples are axis 3 code and gray code. So I'll explain all these codes in detail in separate sessions, right? Here I'm just giving you examples. So axis 3 code and gray code, that is examples of non-weightage code where we don't have fixed value with position, right? Now third category that is reflective code. So what is reflective code? So reflective code is self complementing code. Reflective code that is self complementing So reflective code that is self complementing code. Now what is the meaning of self complementing code? So in self complementing code we can say 9 is complement of 0, 8 is complement of 1, 7 is complement of 2. See that is. So in reflective code, it is self complementing code and meaning of that is it is having 9 complement of 0, 8 is a complement of 1, 7 is a complement of 2. See that is how it is there, right? And See few examples are like 2421 3. 
So let me explain one two four two one code with example over here. So I'll write two four two one code first, and then we will discuss that in detail. So in two four two one code, see here bits are there, and here we have decimal value. Right. Now decimal values are ranging from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. See that is how decimal values are ranging. Right. Now in two four two one code, this zero that we represent as per zero 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 zero, and that is even weightage code, right? But it is reflective and weightage code. So as per this weight, you need to see zero 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 one will get represented by zero 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 one. This two that is represented by zero zero one zero. This three is represented by zero zero one one. This four is represented by zero, and now this one zero zero. This five is represented by One zero one one. This six is represented by one one zero zero. This seven is represented by double one zero one. This eight is represented by one 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 zero. And this nine is represented by all ones. Now here. to prove property which is self complementing property so as i have told you in self complement 9 is complement of 0 right so you can see this 9 is complement of 0 right we can clearly see this 9 is complement of 0 this 8 is complement of 1 This seven is complement of two. This six is complement of three, and this five is complement of four. So that is how two four two one code is self reflective code that we can say, or reflective code that we can say, or we can say it is self complementing code. and i'm not going to explain you access 3 right now but in future i'll make video separately for access 3 where you can see how it is following this property of self reflective code now fourth category that is sequ so when we talk about sequential code next data that will increase so we can say simply binary access 3 so those are or one can say 8421 is even sequential code so when you write this code you will be finding next data will increment by 1 so those are sequential code right now fifth category that is alpha alpha numeric code so fifth category is alpha so alpha numeric codes uh, example is and ascii means american standard codes for information interchange and this is what i'll be explaining in detail with separate session so i'm not going to explain you in detail over here we'll be having separate session for it so ascii means american standard and sixth category that is error so here when we have digital transmission of data in channel there is a possibility of noise and because of noise uh, few data may get change right so by having some codes we can detect that error as well as we can correct that error right so there are some codes by which we can detect the error as well as correct the error so in playlist of digital communication 
I have explained where different types of codes where we can correct error as well as we can detect error. And some examples are like Hamming code, cyclic code. So all those codes are used for error detection and error correction. And to understand that, you should go for my digital communication playlist where I have explained error detection and error correction in detail. So I'm writing examples of it. So that is how different classification has been there. So with this playlist of digital communication, other than this two code, all details will be there in this playlist only. And this two code even you can study from my channel where I have explained this two code in digital communication. You can go through playlist of digital communication in engineering funda channel. You'll be finding detailed explanation of this two code. So I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestion. The reason is your suggestions are explaining me what is highly required here on my channel and based on that I'm optimizing my content which is required to explain over here on my channel. Thank you.